and welcome to our channel. My name is Tracy. That's Bandit over there. And Chloe is doing some laundry right now. But if you're new, welcome. Thanks so much for checking us out. Um, we do a lot of unboxings around here. Lifestyle, beauty. Um, we do makeovers, masks Mondays, um, clothing try-ons, all kinds of different stuff. Mystery boxes. So if you like that kind of stuff, please consider hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell and if you're returning thanks so much for being a part of our youtube family we so support so love all of the support and appreciate all of the support um and what a wonderful community um the unboxing community is all right so today i have my third box of pink truck delivery now i did get this box only for three months for a collab that i did and that was the um the Easter new subscription golden box hunt. Now I saw the spoilers for this. If I had opened this one, if I had gotten this one in time, this might've been the golden box. I think from the spoilers I saw, because the first two boxes, they had some nice stuff in there, but there seemed to be like a lot of just kind of random stuff thrown in. But this one from the spoilers I saw seemed very put together. In other words, like everything seemed to go. I, did not renew it only financially i you know i did think that it was a good box i certainly didn't have any issues with the box but purely for financial reasons um i have um discontinued several of the boxes that i do enjoy but you know got to save some money that kid's gonna want to go to college so you know i gotta pay for it somehow right all right, so, you know, and I do like to try things out for a few months, um, just to bring new content. So, okay, there are the tried and trues that I stick with, the FabFitFun, BoxyCharm, Ipsy. I'm probably going to, I just renewed the All True. I'll probably discontinue that. Um, it's nice, but, you know, if I'm looking at both that and FabFitFun, I do like that better. Um, so... I did just con discontinue the um, globe in. I'm not going to pick up a different um, home decor one, only because I can go to Home Goods and typically get a few pieces that I really like. And I know you do save some money with the boxes, but um, oftentimes I'm getting things I wouldn't necessarily get. Um, so even though they are nice things, they aren't necessarily things that I would maybe choose or would need. Okay, so boxes and tacks. Of course, my first box was annihilated, but everything was still in good condition when I opened it up. Did get this off of Crate Joy, which is a great place to explore boxes. I will have all of the information down below. Okay, there is a little sheet of paper that goes over all of your items. It does have it looks like it has prices for everything. Last time it didn't. This is Sip and Stroll to the Market is the theme. And there we go. Now I'm telling you, if you watched that collab, the Easter new subscription Golden Box Hunt, let me know if this would have been, if I had shown this, if it would have been a far better box. Um, if you like it better than the first two, the February and March boxes. And if this would have put me with the golden box. Not that we got anything for it, but, you know, it's just nice to know you picked out something that people like. Have a weekly meal planner. It says live organically. It's the Santa Barbara Design Studio. This is valued at $12.99. Now, I probably won't use this, so I'm hoping I can get it back in that bag. Um, oh, that's really cute though, look at that. Ooh, yeah. Um, the reason I probably won't use this is because um, I get my meals in a box too. I get HelloFresh. And so, so what? 
when I go to the store, it's pretty much just to grab things for lunch, snacks, that kind of stuff. Next by Labs is the Poseidon Sugar Scrub with Ocean Vanilla and Amber. That sounds fantastic. It's like marshmallow. Mmm. Oh, it smells so good. So good. I definitely do get that kind of ocean vibe from this. All right. We have Paradise Parade Street Products. It's a cozy wrap with a pouch. This is valued at $32.99. All right, I love the color of that. They've kind of shown it just kind of like draped like that. But you could certainly use it as a scarf if you wanted to, if it was kind of windy or whatever you wanted to do with it. Love the color on this. By Bella Pierre, we have the Extreme concealing kit. This is valued at $80. Now I know that Bella Pierre is a more pricey line. And I also know that I'm almost out of my Dragon Beauty under eye concealer. The Dark Circle Eliminator it's in this putty color. This is the contour cream. And that's kind of a light color, so I think that would match many different tones. There is no profile for this, so they wouldn't know when they're putting makeup in. And this is the green camouflage cream. I use that for redness. And the banana setting powder. So this is a powder in here. And a brush. This is a mineral base. All right, next by Bio Swiss, we have a back and leg massager. Use that tonight. And this is valued at $12. This looks like it is also by that Santa Barbara company that the uh, meal planner was made out of, or made from. We have a travel mug, says let's get to the bottom of this. It's got that slide top, it's valued at $24.99. Kind of looks like those bandeau mugs or bandeau. Santa Barbara Design Studio. 16 ounce. The last thing in here by Slant Designs is this market tote. And this is so stinking cute. This is valued at $35 or $34.99. So it's a nice size, but it's also made out of like a burlap. So it's good for like throwing vegetables in and such. And there's even a little pocket inside there. Okay. So that was the March pink box delivery. So let me know what you thought. I feel kind of torn because I did cancel it. And this was such an awesome box, I think, in my opinion. I mean, maybe you guys didn't. Um, but let me know if you did see me unbox the other two. And if you didn't, go back and check it out. Even if you don't want to subscribe, but go back and check it out. And let me know, like, 
if this was better than those two. I feel like it's better than the other two boxes. And there were some nice items in there, but I didn't feel the cohesiveness. And there also seemed to be like a lot of kind of dollar store stuff kind of thrown in there too, um, which kind of, I think, threw a lot of people off. This box though, I think, you know, I mean, yeah, you could get something like this at Target, maybe for like five or seven bucks. I think it's super cute. If I went to the grocery store, I might use something like this. But again, I only go for snacks. I don't do any meal playing like that because I do get HelloFresh and everything comes already like in a bag together. So I don't have to even think about it. It's just kind of a me thing, I guess. Anyway, let me know your thoughts down below and please hit that like button. And if you haven't already, again, please consider hitting that like, subscribe, and notification bell. And hopefully, I'll see you soon.